Hello children and welcome to the next class of keyboard special keys. So till now we have already learnt about the keyboard, the alphabet keys on the keyboard, the number keys and the special keys and also the caps lock key. Today we will learn about a few more keys on a keyboard and for that I want everybody to open page number 36 and we will read about the enter key. Enter key. The enter key is used to bring the cursor to the next line on the monitor. A keyboard has two enter keys. So as it tells you that whenever we are typing using a keyboard, whatever we type we can see that on the monitor. Now if we have typed a line and we want to type in the next line, so how will you come to the next line? So there is an enter key to perform that function on the keyboard. So with the help of enter key, you can bring your cursor to the next line and start writing in the next line. A keyboard has two enter keys. So a standard keyboard will have two enter keys on it. They look like this on few keyboards and like this also on some keyboards. So I will show it to you on a keyboard also. If this is my keyboard, you will see an enter key like this here. Can you see this enter key here? And the next enter key is on the numeric keypad. You will find the next enter key with the numeric keypad. So you have two enter keys on a keyboard. Since it is a very small keyboard, you have a small enter key here. But in a big keyboard, you will have a key like this for enter. You will have this type of enter key on the big keyboard. Alright, now let's read about the activity. So if you have a computer at home, you can practice this activity. For that, what you have to do? You have to type this sentence using a keyboard. I am in class 2. So you have typed this sentence. Now you want to type in the next line. So what will you do? You will press enter once. Only once. Press the enter key once. The cursor will jump to the next line. So every time you press enter, the cursor will jump to the next line. So if you press enter once, it will come to the next line. If you will press it more than once, it will skip that many lines. Now let's read about the arrow key. There are four arrow keys that help to move the cursor on the screen. Now when you have done typing of almost 5-6 lines and you want to move your cursor on the screen. To help you move your cursor, you have four arrow keys like this on the keyboard. I will show it to you on the keyboard also. If this is my keyboard, here are the arrow keys. So you have arrows towards all the four directions. Up down, left and right. You have four arrow keys on the keyboard and they look like this. Like this on the keyboard. Now lead, read, let's read about every arrow key. Up arrow key. So as the name says up, this arrow key moves the cursor up. Down arrow key is used to move the cursor down. Left arrow key is used to move the cursor to the left. Right arrow key is used to move the cursor to the right side. So all the arrow keys as per the direction of the arrows, they move the cursor in different directions on the screen. The next key is the backspace key. The backspace key erases the letters on the left side of the cursor. Now before we discuss about the backspace key, let me ask you a question. When you are working in a notebook with a pencil and you make any mistake, what will you do? You will take an eraser and erase your mistake and do the correction? Isn't it? You will be doing the same thing? But what will you do if you make a mistake while typing? You should have a facility to erase your mistake and do the correction, isn't it? So to help you do the correction, 
if you make any mistake while typing we have two keys on the keyboard the first is the backspace key and the second is the delete key all right both the keys have the same function of erasing your mistakes and doing the correction or you can just erase with the help of this these keys and let's see what is the difference between both the keys because both the keys are used to erase something on the screen so the backspace key erases the letters to the left side of the cursor so what if your cursor is here at this point and you want to erase something towards the left side behind the cursor then you will use a backspace key if you want to erase something which is towards the left side of the cursor and this is how this key looks on the keyboard this key has a arrow which is moving towards the left side because it erases everything towards the left side of the cursor so this is how this key looks on the keyboard see here i have this backspace key here and the delete key so on the backspace key it will be written backspace and the delete key it will be written delete but in some of the keyboards in the backspace key you will only see an arrow like this which is moving towards the left side so if you have this arrow on any key that is also a backspace key all right and the backspace key will delete anything which is towards the left side of the cursor let's understand this with the help of a activity so here is the activity what we have to do is type i live in delhi so i have two ends in delhi you can type i live in kanpur okay so once you have typed this where is the cursor now so when you will type this you will find out where is the cursor it should be after delhi it is after the word delhi or if you have written kanpur it should be after kanpur press the left arrow key and bring the cursor after the word in so here I, we have written we have done a mistake we have written two ends in in we have to correct it so for that we have to erase one end so what will we do we'll use the left arrow key and we will bring the cursor from here to here with the help of the arrow key the cursor will move towards the left side so which arrow key you will use the left arrow key okay so we will move to the left side press the backspace key to erase the extra n from the word in now when your cursor is here when your cursor is pointed here and you press a backspace key the n which is towards the left side of the cursor will be erased and your correction is done you will erase n with the help of the backspace key so this is how it works now let's see the delete key the delete key erases the letters to the right side of the cursor so what is the difference the backspace key will delete it towards the left side of the cursor and the delete key will remove it towards the right side of the cursor and this is how the delete key looks on the keyboard as i showed you and here, let's do the activity for the delete key now what you have to do you have to type another sentence i like to eat mangoes now the spelling of mangoes is incorrect why right? we have two g's here we have double g so we have to remove one g but after typing this letter this sentence where it should be the cursor the cursor should be after s right if my cursor is here and i have to make an correction here i have to erase this g what will i do i will use the left arrow key and bring my cursor in between both the g's now when my cursor is between both the g's and if i want to remove the g towards the right side i will press the delete key and the g which is towards the right side will be deleted so this is how the delete key works so i hope you understand the difference between the backspace key and the delete key both are used for the same purpose to delete something to erase something on the screen 
but the backspace key will erase it towards the left hand side and the delete key will erase it towards the right hand side of the cursor children let's have a quick recap of what we learned today so we learned about four different keys today right so the first key was the enter key and what did we learn about the enter key that there are two enter keys on a keyboard so there are two enter keys on a keyboard why do we use an enter key we use the enter key to to move the cursor cursor to the next line right so when we are typing on a keyboard and we want to move to a new line we press the enter key it has a sign also there is a symbol for enter key which is like this so on some keyboard you will write you will see enter written on the key but on some keyboards you will just find this symbol there so and it represents the enter key okay and how does the key look like this right you have this type of key on a keyboard and sometimes you have a a long key a small key like this with enter written on it right so you have two enter keys on a keyboard they are used to move the cursor to the next line it has a symbol like this so this is the symbol for the enter key enter key we learned about the arrow keys arrow keys so how many arrow keys you have on a keyboard you have four arrow keys on a keyboard all right every arrow key has an arrow pointing towards a different direction so ha you have four arrow keys on a keyboard and they are placed like this between the alphabet keys and the number keypad so the first key is towards with an arrow towards up then you have left then you have this down arrow key and a right arrow key so the purpose of all the arrow keys is also different this arrow key the up arrow key moves the cursor up on a page similarly the left moves the cursor left so it helps to move the cursor towards the left side then you have the down arrow it moves the cursor down and you have a right arrow which moves the cursor right so you have four arrow keys on a keyboard which help you to move the cursor up left right and down so children after uh, the arrow keys we learned about the backspace key and the delete key the function of both the keys is same is to erase the mistake that you make while typing but they work differently 
the backspace key there is only one backspace key on the keyboard and only one delete key on the keyboard right a backspace key has a arrow like this which is going towards the left side so in some keyboards you will find backspace written on it and in some keyboards you will only have this back arrow what are these keys used for to erase any mistake you make while typing right so if you make any mistake while typing that can be erased using a backspace key or a delete key but how do they work so the backspace key will remove anything towards the left side of the cursor so if i have this blinking cursor here anything which is written here will be deleted with the backspace key this side it will not be deleted so anything which is towards the left side will be deleted by the backspace key and if i if i have my cursor blinking here and i have words written here delete key will always delete towards the right hand side so anything which is written towards the right side of the cursor will be deleted by the delete key so both the keys are used for erasing our mistakes but what is the difference the backspace key deletes anything written towards the left side of the cursor so if this is my cursor anything which is written towards the left side will be deleted by the backspace key and if this is my cursor anything which is written towards the right side of the cursor will be deleted by the delete key children let's learn about the different keys how we use them on a keyboard okay so i will be typing in a sentence here i want to type i space study space in space class Now I want to write in the next line. I don't want to write in this line. So to go to the next line, I will use the enter key. So I will press it once and my cursor moves to the next line. As you all can see, the cursor is in the next line now. I will write again in the next line. Now I want. I have come to the next line again. Here also, I want to write the same sentence again. Again, I move to the next line using the enter key. Now again, I I have moved to the next line using the enter key. and i'm writing the sentence again now as you can see i have done some mistakes right i have done some mistakes in the fourth line so i want to go to the fourth line and correct my mistake for that i have to bring my cursor to the fourth line so to bring my cursor to the fourth line right see this is the fourth line where i have made the mistake So to bring my cursor here i will have to press the up arrow key so i press the up arrow key and my cursor will move up see the cursor has moved up now i want to go to the place where i have made the mistake it is towards the left side so i will use the left arrow key to move towards the mistake Now as you all can see I have to remove u and write y which is towards the left side of the cursor so to erase something towards the left side of the cursor which key should I use yes it's the backspace key 
so in our keyboard you will find backspace written on the key or sometimes just a back arrow will be there on the backspace key and when i press it once i will be able to erase see i have erased u and now i can write y here so i have made the correction now there is another mistake towards the end of the line where i want to write second and roman numbers so to move towards the right side now see this is on the right side i will use the right arrow key by pressing the right arrow key my cursor will move to the right side now i want to delete the small i and write the capital i here for that since it is towards the right side of the cursor i will have to use the which key i will have to use the delete key so in some laptops or in some keyboards you will find delete written on it the whole spelling and in some you will only find del written on it so once i press this key i will be able to delete towards the right side of my cursor and now i can make the correction now i want to move to the last line to make the correction in the word in where i have written double n so i have to move down so to move my cursor down i will use the down arrow key once i press the down arrow key my cursor has moved to the last row now i have to move towards the left side using the left arrow key and now i want to delete n for that i will use again the delete key because i want to remove the n which is towards the right side i press delete and that is remove today we have learned how to use enter the arrow keys the backspace key and the delete key to work when we are typing on a computer